trade it for anything I got this um I guess holder um from five and below yesterday or five below is what it's called and literally everything in there is five dollars or under and uh, this holds so much makeup and I could probably put more in there and it was only five bucks so I feel like I want to get another one because I have way more makeup than this but this is just like my main stuff that I use but yeah it's awesome so you guys should definitely go check out five below Wow, this thing goes really far. I'm using my selfie stick and I wanted to see how far it goes. This thing goes so far. So I figured I'd get semi-presentable for you guys. We just cleaned up and I cleaned up our room and the living room and Mr. Beauty was cleaning the kitchen. So hopefully soon we can get out and go because I really want some pizza today and that pizza is so bomb. Where do we decide to go eat instead of <laughs> you look so lot of where do we decide to go eat? Bro. <laughs> Where do we decide to go eat? Tacos. Tacos! Instead of pizza, because somebody's belly gets upset when you eat greasy pizza. <laughs> I love you. This is how he looks at me. 90% of the time <laughs> with, with pure disgust We are finally on our way to get to tacos and this weather. Yeah, it looks it's terrible outside <laughs> Are you gonna have that face all the time? Look at this weather it's so bad Terrible. I'm just ready to eat tacos. I'm just ready. Say hi. Hi. Little Miss Beauty there. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look at this. Hold on, let me turn this around. So terrible. <sighs> tacos coming soon. So while we're riding, I kind of wanted to see what my husband thinks about me getting my um, eyelashes done like I want to do an eyelash extension because I feel like Wait, which ones are you talking about? eyelash extensions which ones? what do you mean the ones where they like fucking poke holes in your eyes? no they don't poke holes in your eyes they like I, I don't really know how it's done but I'm pretty I think what they do is they take like little individual lashes and they glue them to your Know, your eyelid so it's yeah, literally individual hairs and it lasts for like I think three to four weeks and you know you just wear them like it's your eyelash they look real they're just a lot longer cost? um I think at a good place if you get it done it's like 120 bucks how much does that mascara cost $35 but that's not the uh, point how long does that how long does that last that until bottle? I take it oh I don't know I've had it for a few months now and that shit does wonders right Yes, but my point okay. is to be able, because I don't always enjoy wearing mascara. I don't always want to wear mascara. If I got my eye, my eyelashes done, then I could have long eyelashes all day, every day, and I have to wear mascara all the time. So basically, you said it lasts three to four weeks? Yeah. So you'd be spending, you'd be able to buy one of them bottles of mascara every week. But did you not just hear, did you not just hear the point though? I heard it, but it doesn't make sense to me. 
What I said was I don't want to have to wear mascara all the time every day. You don't. But I but well, I want my eyelashes to be long. So what I'm saying is if I decide. But guess to, what? You're not blessed with long eyelashes. Sorry. You're gonna be blessed with these hands in a minute. Thank you. You're beautiful the way you are. Well, thank you. You want longer eyelashes? Put some mascara. On. Okay, so okay. Then the next question is, what if? What about microblading? That's the shit where they poke. No, that's the sh that's what they do when they um, basically. I don't know if Isn't it's like that a that tattoo. That it's video I tagged you in the other day with the eyebrows. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, they're not poking holes in your yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, they do. They poke it in there. Yeah, it's like it's like basically get like how your grandma has her eyebrows tattooed on. That's basically what it is. They take hairs. I watched the video. Oh, that's something different then. No, it was called microblading. Well, the thing that I saw that everybody's doing that's microblading is basically tattooing your eyebrows on and then they put like a coloring over it to have the color set into it. They numb your eyebrow area and they tattoo it on. I'm pretty sure it's a tattoo because the, the thing that they use to do it looks like a tattoo gun. And then, and if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me. So, but then they like put the coloring over it and my mom was saying that shit costs like $900. But then, um, this girl that I'm friends with on Facebook told me it doesn't cost that much so I don't know I've never looked into it I've only ever seen videos but I really want to get it done I just don't like drawing on my eyebrows all the time but I would like but to have eyebrows uh, I, I'm i pretty good at it sometimes sometimes my eyebrows be looking uneven your hair uneven yeah thank you y'all know what that's from but I just don't want to have to draw my eyebrows all the time on all the time and I would like to have eyebrows all the time I you don't see me trying to get a beard implant because I definitely don't have a thick beard, which I want. Your beard looks bomb. I think it looks bomb. Yeah, but it's not thick. If you guys don't have kids, you should have some. It's great. <laughs> have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Can you zoom in on the camera? No. Oh, you need to edit me out of that. I look fucking huge. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not Eddie. That was good. That was good. She said your head is. <laughs> my teeth look yellow. I need to get my teeth whitened. I'm so ready. Authentic tacos. I have steak tacos and marinated pork tacos on this side. Pork and fried tacos. What is this? I think that's like a um, fermented cabbage. And there's all your salsa options. And I have Mexican Coke. Which is like a hibiscus water. Now I'm gonna grow up and eat my food. Thank you. Okay, so we just got done eating tacos. You saw how good they looked. But <laughs> Alright, they weren't horrible. But fuck that. They were not we as good. Go yeah, we won't be going back. They were not nearly as good as they looked. Um, I got two steak tacos, one marinated pork taco, and one fried pork taco. The marinated pork taco was literally filled with just pork fat. And I'm real iffy about pork in general as it is. So that really turned me off. Um, I almost died because I took a bite of this, I don't know what kind of pepper it was. Literally, I thought I was gonna pass out at the table. It was so spicy and my whole mouth was like numb and just burning and I, I don't know, I was scared. And, um, I mean, they were okay, but they lacked seasoning. That was like odd to me because. Um, that was some white people tacos. <laughs> it looked like like there was, it, you know, it's a Mexican restaurant. There was Mexican people in there. So 90%. Yeah, like Mexican. when we walked in, there was literally there was a um, another couple. They were white, and then there was um, these two guys sitting at a table. They were white, and then there's me and. Uh, Mr. Mr. Beauty over here with our kids, but everybody else in there 
was Mexican or of at least Hispanic. And so we was like, oh, it's about to be bomb. You know, we saw everybody's plates. You seen the, the salsa the spread out and everything. Huh? Is the electricity out? Probably. Um, you seen the, you know, salsa set up and everything. I, and when we got our tacos, like they looked good and then we took a bite and it was, it was highly disappointing, honestly. Like it was highly disappointing. Chorizo we got, tasted like yeah, I, I don't like chorizo, so I don't eat it. You know, I won't order it. He said it tasted like nothing. nothing. And so the salsas they had, they had like a fermented, like spicy cabbage. That shit was hot. It was spicy. Other than that, it didn't have any other like flavor. They had a verde salsa that was flavorless. They and they had two red salsas. One was like a lighter orangish red. It didn't really have any flavor, and I didn't try the other one because I figured that was really spicy. I just had. Oh, that is nice. I just had to interject my uh, taco fiasco conversation really quick and show you guys this artwork on this wall here. Look at this. Can you see? Maybe I can go out a little further. Look at this. That's so nice. I just, I love seeing stuff like this because it's just like people who have this kind of talent. It's so beautiful. Look at that. And it's all along the wall. Look. And there's more. Look at that. That's so cool. I love this little part right here where we drive. This whole street that we drive down. I absolutely love this. But this is my favorite part. The flower wall. This is awesome. And we're right here by a little burger joint that we have yet to try, but we will. Okay, now that I've stopped and done that, that was really cool. What, do you guys? This is, what we did. This is one of the sites right here. Can you guys see some of the construction work? Right. We're putting a new driveway They're putting a new walk. driveway and sidewalk into this place. Miss, Mr. Beauty works in construction, so. Um, I'm a truck driver. He's a truck driver, but he, he works his ass off. So anyways, um, bottom line, it just was not what we expected. It wasn't good. I mean, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to trash the place and say that it wasn't good. You know, it wasn't good. If we're honest, it wasn't good. Yeah, it wasn't good. We, it, it, I was if really. If it was good, we would go back. And I we're not never going go back. Yeah, we're not going back. We were just really disappointed. So, Oh, but we did get some horchata, and if you guys are not sure what that is, it's um, like rice flavored water. And I know that doesn't sound appetizing, but this shit is so good. It's like it's, it's like like a drink of rice pudding. Yeah, with cinnamon. And it would yeah, and it would be so good if you put um, a like a rum. Well, you, I mean, you know, you can buy rum chata from the store, but if you make it homemade and put rum in it, I'm, it'll be so good. So, you know what? I will put, I will find a good recipe for horchata and rum chata, and I will put it in the description box for you guys. This stuff is so good. Okay, so anyways, while we're in Walmart, just browsing around, we picked up these. They are Jelly Belly um, Bean Boozled Dare to Compare jelly beans and it says caution contains weird and wild flavors so some of the well i'll just read all the flavors in here there's stinky socks tutti frutti lawn clippings lime rotten egg butter, buttered caramel toothpaste blueberry or berry blue barf peach canned dog food chocolate booger juicy pear moldy cheese caramel corn baby wipes coconut skunk spray and licorice so this is the trick you see you have stinky socks and tutti frutti they look the same so you don't know which one you're getting so yeah so me and hubby or mr beauty are gonna try these in the next video mm -hmm. so you guys better tune in to see the reactions could be gross could be good we don't know we had an eventful day today and it was really good given the fact that the weather is so shitty today but it was just nice and cold it was just nice being with the fam bam today so yeah um that's pretty much it for and today you guys i'm glad you guys watched us and keep tuning in for more beauty family vlogs yeah that's it for today don't forget to like and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs, thumbs down up. if you hate it if not if you don't like it i don't care peace out